All right, tonight in the 39 Interactive, we're traveling back in time, back to 1982 to play arcade games. Here's Steve Simon with more on one man's trip down memory lane and back to create a booming business. <laughs> Hold on. We're turning the clock back about 25 years. He slimed me. Now that you're in the right decade, many of you are about to get some deja vu. And it's all in one place downtown. Usually their first word is, oh my gosh, I haven't seen a Pac-Man in 23 years. It's almost like back in time with Michael J. Fox. You walk in the front door and you see stuff that you've seen when you were younger. I'll be back. Charles Callis gives us a tour of Joysticks, his video game store near Minute Maid Park. It's one of the few places like this in the country. Yeah, there's new state-of-the-art games here, but it's the rare games that many people uh, eat up. Callis makes a living renting and selling these games. Some of the classics cost over $1,000. This baby Pac-Man was the first video game pinball combo. There are only about five turkey shoots available today, feathers included. You know all these names from the early 80s. Millipede, Galaga, Zaxxon, Paperboy, watch out for those hedges. Berserk, the first talking video game. Then there's Tron, remember that movie? Over a hundred of these games are here, including this Elton John Captain Fantastic pinball machine. That is far removed from today's more sophisticated pinball games. This Indiana Jones pinball game has really evolved. And remember in The Last Crusade, he was searching for the Holy Grail? Well, if you want to find the Holy Grail of video games, it's right around the corner. Right next to the Pong, Computer Space, the first video game. It's yours for about $8,000. That was the very first game that came out. And believe it or not, it didn't even have a cash box. And it had a paint thinner can where the top is cut off and that catches the quarters. That was made by the guy that found the Atari games, Nolan Bushnell. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's that kind of nostalgia that's hooked John Nelson of Sugarland. In his home, a collection of some of his favorites from joysticks, Donkey Kong, and Pinball. Nelson's kids play the games he loved as a kid. This one's a hard one. Well, they like the pinball because there's a lot of action in it, but the, the, the multi-cade or the old arcades, th those are the ones that you have to explain to them that this is what Daddy played when he was at your age. So the Nelsons go back in time just about every day. At Joysticks, it's a lot of old school in a relatively new business. For 39 Interactive, I'm Steve Simon.